Alright guys, Get Milky here and I'm back to bring you part 16 to my Lord of the Rings Gondor campaign. Last time we defeated a small army here and we are besieging Minas Morgul. And down in the southern part of Third Age, uh, we are kind of like attacking this city here. And we destroyed another general over here and that was pretty fun. So, uh, last time I left off, I left it again at a time where I will need to end the turn, which is not good. However, things are going well. My economy is doing fine for the time being. Uh, and we're making our way and progressing through the lands quite well. So I'm going to end the turns. I'll be back to speak to you guys in a second. All right, cool. I'm back. So they didn't do what I wanted them to do. I wanted them to attack me. It uh, turns out they didn't. Who do you want dead? So As you that's a pain. Will. However, things are going along fine. And now we can go and attack this Harad army here. Um, has a Yezeb has two armies or three? No, yep, yeah, no, one army of three units. A general, which is good because I like taking out their enemy generals as fast as I can, uh, and the rest of it. We are the heirs of oh, but before then, I need to get um an is emissary actually, My close to. I'm just gonna check to see what factions Mordor is kind of like happy with. Mordor are going to be here. They are allies with Rune. So I will give it to Rune, I think, because me and Rune are actually okay. Yeah, me and Rune are, are perfectly normal, which is fine. So I need to stay up here, I think. As yeah, much as I need you to stay may up wish here. It, I am not yours. And I do not wish you were mine because your army sucks. So, um, oh, that was really loud. Let's take the city quickly, shall we? And yeah, I should be we can take it right now. Um, so they have 447 men. We have 1,469 men. This will be an easy battle. So I'll see you guys on the battle map in two seconds. Okie dokie, guys. Let's start the deployment. Uh, and for once, my microphone's working quite well. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, mainly because... It means that, you know, I can record properly. So I'm going to have my army split up into two different sort of groups. I'm going to have that group there. And I'm going to have that group here. And then I'm going to have my cavalry go around here. It's fine. And then we'll have a general here and a general here for morale. So, the reasoning behind this is because now I can attack them from two fronts. Uh, the archers will kind of like sit here and fire in at them. And then the rest of my units will sort of go around and attack. So, let's start this. I'm going to rush my men over here. Uh, as you can see here, they're kind of like just sitting there. Oh. Okay, they're kind of like coming out a little bit. So we'll march there, our guys closer, and march these guys closer, and march these guys closer. Shit, I really should have left this general over here. But you can see, they're just going to run back into their city, so it doesn't really matter what I do. I don't know how I attack them, but the two-prong attack will mean less losses for me, and more deaths for them. So. I'm really happy with the amount of cavalry I've got. Uh, cavalry is quite hard to come across with Gondor, and I've probably exclaim that enough and I've got a good amount of generals as well that I can split into two armies I'm actually really happy with how the campaign's going I don't know I feel like uh, I kind of need plans to go well I don't really do well under that kind of like uh, I don't know I don't deal well with too much pressure in these kind of games so that's why I'm kind of glad everything's going peachy peachy so I kind of want my Gondor militia to go in first and then I want my pikemen to go in from the side as well. So as you can see here, they're just going to get peppered with arrows for a while. I, I feel like I should do that until... Ooh, uh, we got any spearmen? Yeah. I, want, I definitely want my spearmen to go in first. In case they decide to bring some cavalry up. Like, I'm just going to bring in these guys. Don't be shooting at them. And, yep. Stop. 
Do they have archers? No, they don't. If they're gonna come out and fight me, that's even better because... They come in and attack, like, they are, they're about to attack me. Well, yeah, they are being a huge mistake. Yeah, defeat is a distinct possibility. No, they're just gonna die. You don't run into spearmen like that, I'm afraid. You just don't. I fear as if, like, my archers have done their part. They can attack this small army. Because they're now coming out to help these guys. Victory? What? This is why I really dislike cavalry units from Harad. They're too fucking powerful. But the good thing is now is that my archers are still firing into the middle of them. Their cavalry is seeming to be doing quite well. I, mean, I don't know why, but it doesn't really matter because they'll lose anyway. I could take my cavalry in, but at the moment, yeah, I'm going to take my cavalry in. Just destroy these guys from behind. Victory seems certain. We're doing well. Oh, wait. Defeat seems certain. What the hell? So I kind of feel like I want to take in one cavalry unit into the backs of these guys quickly. And I fucked up completely, but oh well. Come on, run, you fools! Okay, let's send these guys out. I'm not wasting my cavalry like that. I'd be a stupid fool to do that. These guys are, are not in a good place right now. Come on, run! Ah, shit. We're losing horsemen. We lost about, what, five of them there? Bullshit. That's good, though, because we've completely taken the, the Harad out of the center. And they're, yeah, their Serpent Guards are finally dying. Poor cavalry unit that lost some men. Kind of bring these guys round. But their leader should die in a minute, hopefully. Come on, just die. There you go. That's their general right there. He's doing well to survive that long. I'm kind of sending my men around. And then just running into them. Here we'll look at the clash. Look, here we go. And so they're dying. Boom. I don't know why they're being put as a victory is a distinct possibility because they have, they have no chance of winning. Their leader is still not dying yet either. Take our cavalry out again. You're wavering already. So their general is killed. So let's take these guys in. And then we've won, pretty much. They've taken out quite a lot of our men, actually. More men than I would have wanted them to. They have lost half their men. But uh, most of our men were losing our militia, so I'm not really too bothered at all by that. So you can see here, that's like the majority of our men that we've lost. And these guys are facing the right fucking way. Take them out again. 
I wish the cavalry was a lot more responsive. Like that, there. That was perfect. If they could do that, it'd be great. We've, we've pretty much got them now. There's like kind of nothing more they can do. They're, they're just dying very fast. So we lost not many men actually. We did quite well. I'm surprised how like... I, I knew that cavalry was going to be a really hard and tough thing to fight. So my men did really well to sort of surpass that. They're wavering. I wish they would just route, but they can't because they're sitting in the center. Let's take our cavalry out again. We're like taking no losses from our cavalry now as well. So let me just completely put this down. There you go. Control of the city. Completely destroyed them. There has how many left? None of them. All right, they're, go they're, they're gone. Victory. There we go. Yeah. There you go. So, is it gonna end. Yes, celebrate, men. Celebrate. There you go. We lost 110 men. They lost 447. Uh, experience gained. Only one unit of Gondor Militia gained some experience. Casualty sustained. Uh, volunteers. Yeah, we didn't lose that many men. Mm, casualties inflicted. Gondor Militia. Yeah, we did it all rounding quite well. Right, so I will see you guys back on the campaign map. So let us um, sack the place. We're not really too bothered. And we have a lot of gold coins. Yeah, great. I can't recruit anybody yet, but oh well. I will not waste words on There's you. some cavalry units on that. Um so what else are we gonna do? We're probably gonna go out and attack them more. I just I don't know where the next city is. Approaching Because they don't have fucking roads anywhere. But there's like an enemy settlement here somewhere, so I should probably There we go. There is the next place to take. Uh, but again I had to leave some units behind. And they have town clearance and land clearance. And I can't construct anything here. So that's a big pain. Means if anybody attacks me there, they've pretty much gained an entrance into it. Oh well. And again, what's going on with our uh, kind of... Our recruitment process. Do we need any more men? We could, we could probably do with some more... Ooh, we have a lot here. 7 and 18. Yes, they did more. Dol Amroth archers, squires. Dol, Amro Dol Amroth marines are really cool. I think we're going to get some swordsmen, some squires. Um, just to recruit a small army to come out and reach, like, sort of. These guys are awesome. Yeah, I think that's enough for my recruitment process now. And I'm going to take my men out to sort of join this army here once I take this settlement. So that's a good process. Now I can move my men across to this place here. And then I can probably take this place quickly while I go on my excursion into Harad lands. However, I can't see any more Harad armies apart from this one here. So I will take that down now, I think. Before I end the turn. Um, as far as it concerns me... Oh, wow. Okay, we've got these guys back again. Sweet! These Dol Amroth squires will come in handy. By your command, we can go no They're gonna come back today. over here. We'll make so eventually, I'm gonna have to take a take this like place here, but I'm waiting to take Minas Morgul before I do any of that. So I'm gonna end the turn. I'll be back to uh, speak to you guys in a second. Oh, I completely forgot to actually take that army out, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna destroy them anyway. Great, great news, good news. <laughs> Family member, uh, we're doing well. The only thing yes, that annoys me is. That guy's being a little Without weird. Question. I'll take my emissary deep into Tomorrow's the enemy lands. Journey planned ah, see, no, another Mordor army is coming again. So that's this whole army, and then, and then this army as well. So 
you can just see what's kind of going on. Orders. As you wish. Join in your will, my lord. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna take this Gondor spear unit. Uh, oh, they're pikemen and spearmen. Never mind, they're two different things. Orders. I'm gonna take this general here Forward. and move him into here, and then move another my original squires Managing back in. Armies, yeah, that's like a better idea to me. Need someone removed, sir. On my way. On okay, my way. that guy can't go any further. And so we'll move across again to take the next place. I will have to leave a small garrison of men here, which will be... Hmm. These guys, I think. I'm going to take them right out. Well, this evil. My Lord. I'm going to... Approaching quietly. Oh, whoa, whoa. Approaching ah, shit. I waste words on you. I, I kind of missed that. And they can just go, come right out and attack us. Oh well. My Lord. you got to make mistakes somehow. So that's going to be interesting. Ugh, even if they take that city, I'll retake it from them in an instance. I really do need more archers. I'm going to take some more archers in this army, I think. And then I'll have more units there to take across. I don't really want to... I kind of want to expand my naval... Navy... So they will be eventually coming through. These guys are awesome. My lord. I will not waste words on you. These guys have some catapults and they've got some lancers. They've got two units of quite annoying cavalry. My lord. I don't like cavalry because they can do some damage to you as well. Anyway, I think I'll end the turn again and see what happens. I'm not too impressed with this, but we'll see. Okay, so we're back and betrothed. Oh. Alright, okay. Yeah, we're doing we're doing quite well, and uh, of course the army didn't attack us. It's now sitting in front of us. I will not waste words on you, my lord. Whoa, what's he doing there? Forward, marchmen. Oh crap! Okay, I kind of miscalculated that a little bit. Lord. I will not waste words on you. I'm gonna have to take these two armies out. I think. And I think I've got enough time Is to do it. I want the support to be. Fault? Hadrim Navy. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm going to leave these Dol Amaros to sit here until I need them. And these guys can come across now. Slowly towards this. So they, they can sit there and help us attack the city. Oh, it's going well. It's going well. And of course, Mordor is still not doing anything. They're fucking bastards. And so let's attack this army. And I think that'll be the end of, of this part. Um, they have some cavalry. Uh, I'm just going to pepper them with ar archers fire for a while. Go out behind their backs and attack them. I never actually looked at their statistics for these guys. 8 and 10. So they're not too bad compared to mine. My guys seem to be a little bit more... I don't know. Susceptible to being killed by cavalry. Anyway, I will see you guys on the battle map. Okay, I'm back. So I waited a turn there. And I'm... I'm oh, it's still fucking raining. I'm very aware that it's going to be raining kind of pisses me off because it looked as if it wasn't but you know what you gonna do I like the formation of that it's fine Onward. so let's show these guys who's fucking boss they have two heavy cavalry units and a ballista I don't know whether to be scared of the ballista or not and yep here we go the famous running away Famous running away. I wish I had some like scouts or something, um, so I could use them. Stop! Oh shit! Okay, things be happening fast. Things be happening real fast. Um. If we can 
continue like this, we will smash the enemy. We're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. Come on, come back here, you fools. They're broken already? They're gone. Oh, Ballista, they're winning. Holy fuck. Enemy general is killed. It's good. How the hell are they winning? Okay, now they're not. This system is fucked up. We can leave those Corsairs for the moment. They're just gonna route back to the little city. These guys are routed. The enemy army flees the and we won! And so that battle was uh, interesting. Let's take them out and... Let's take these guys out. Attack the Corsairs because they're light infantry. They can run quite fast. Um, missiles, group. Done. Warbound are doing quite well at just running away. No point going after their cavalry. And we're sitting on 75% of their army killed, so I guess the little amounts of army that are running away are their cavalry units that are just managing to get away quite well. Yeah. We must be sitting close on 80%. Yeah, we are. So we took like what 14% losses again. That's kind of annoying. We're taking quite a bit of losses as you can see here It's mostly from our units, but then again, I am reinforcing them every t like turn now. I'm making units to, to help them so That's good 87% that's good. That's fine Take their artillery out ah, and they've got some southern warband here. Okay, that's where the rest of their army is sitting in Like, our, our cavalry must be, you know, just really liking the amount of attention it's getting. Because <laughs> of the amount of kills they're getting as well, everything is awesome. Look at all these dead Harad. They really shouldn't have crossed with Gondor. We're like one of the strongest allied factions, apart from maybe the dwarves and elves who have their own sort of special abilities, but we're. Gondor is probably the strongest man race. Rohan are f a faster race, but they aren't as skilled in combat. Of course, they're better with their horse, their, as their horse lords. They're good with sort of um, cavalry, but apart from that, they're not too good. Anyway, there we go. That's our us. We won that battle quite easily. Lost 154 men. Our Dol Amroth Marines took a big hit there. Casualties inflicted, though. We did a lot of damage there. Took a lot of prisoners. And yes, I will see you back on the campaign map where I'll end the part. Okay, so, of course, we're going to execute them. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you take that, you fuckers. So we can now either assault that city. Mm, I think I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... I'm going to split my army up a little bit. So we'll take... these guys out to attack them Marching to war. and they've got 500 and something men we should be able to just mop the floor with them yeah we lost 106 men Victory in your name, my lord. so now of course we Rose can balrog resurrected Ooh, that's cool let us claim this field oh shit okay maybe not maybe we shouldn't attack them, Slay them. we must yield yeah, I'm gonna yield there, and then I'm gonna put my men to go back to them. And then, of course, I will meet up with my new units that are coming across. I actually have six units in that army. I, I could take these guys across. Uh, Funds-wise, I'm doing fine, so yeah. Let's take these guys across. Uh, so we're doing really well. I'm, I'm really liking this. We're doing, we're doing good. We're doing better than I wanted to. Mm, but anyway... 
yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I know this has been a really long part, but a lot has happened. We managed to capture a settlement. We're capturing our next settlement, taking down two armies. So remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back to bring you some more commentaries soon.